Hi everybody, it's Andy and welcome to my office in Los Altos, California. I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in California as well as New York. In this video, I'm going to go over how California law treats waivers of alimony in prenuptial agreements. Uh, now, a prenuptial agreement, for those of you who don't know, uh, is an agreement, a document, uh, a contract if you want, signed by the two halves of the marital couple. Uh, they sign it before they get married and it basically specifies what the couple wants to happen if the marriage ends, if they ever you know, get divorced and so on. Uh, every state in the United States has like you know procedures, laws, formulas and stuff to deal with divorces. So a lot of the common questions like alimony, um, you know, custody, visitation, uh, property division, all that stuff can be addressed in a prenuptial agreement as well. Uh, by doing that, hopefully the, you know, any divorce that does happen is faster, easier, cheaper, et cetera, et cetera. Um, a lot of people will kind of do it for those reasons, like, you know, speed, cost, et cetera. But uh, a lot of people also will do prenups because they think that the state kind of default version is you know inapplicable to their situation it doesn't make sense it's excessive etc so they want to basically take charge of you know their future if a divorce just happens to be in it uh, all of that's fine it's no big deal you know if you want to sign a prenup you can uh, a very common question uh, that basically comes up is andy what do i do once my prenup is signed you know i have a copy my spouse your fiance rather has a copy don't we need to file it with the government in some way in order to make it valid? Uh, the answer to that is no. Uh, and basically what happens is that once your prenup is signed, you know, you keep a copy, your fiance keeps a copy, and uh, hopefully, you know, you guys never need it. But if you do, like, you know, you each can go to your copies and kind of refer to back to what you guys agreed to way at the very beginning. Um, I have a separate video actually on this kind of topic of filing documents in order to make them valid. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link them over here, but the basic idea is that some documents you have to file in order to make them valid. Not every document has to get filed, though. Uh, and a prenup in California is not one of those documents that has to get filed. Uh, as long as both you know, sides of the couple have a copy, it's fine. So um, a very common kind of scenario or kind of situation, I guess, in a prenuptial kind of uh, negotiation process is what do we do about alimony? You know, maybe my, you know, my, you know, maybe your friend or your brother, whoever, you knew somebody who was engaged in a very protracted uh, alimony dispute, and you saw that and you go like, man, I really want to avoid that headache. Can I just waive it? You know, I'm not going to seek alimony from my spouse. My spouse is not going to seek alimony from me. Can we do that? Is it allowed? Uh, and the general answer to that question is yes. As long as you meet two, um, or avoid two kind of exceptions, I suppose. So uh, the operative law here is going to be in California Family Code Section 1612C, uh, which I'll go ahead and paste and link down below as I uh, normally do. Uh, but if you look at 1612C, the basic idea is that you can waive a, uh, or you can waive alimony rather. Uh, however, there are two exceptions. The first exception is that, you know, a waiver of alimony can be, you know, tossed or invalidated if it is determined to be unconscionable at the time of enforcement. So um, basically at the time of divorce, if, you know, waiving alimony would be unconscionable, unfair uh, to a particular spouse, uh, the judge can decide to ignore or basically toss out uh, the alimony waiver. Uh, unconscionable, unfortunately, is not defined real well. It's a little bit vague. Uh, but unconscionable, unfair, um, you know, just kind of use those as synonyms, I suppose. Uh, the other kind of, like, exception number two, rather, uh, is that if the party against whom the alimony waiver is, you know, sought to be enforced, uh, basically the party who is, you know, you're trying to force to give up alimony, if that party was not in, uh, represented by legal counsel at the time the waiver was signed, the waiver is not enforceable. Um, that's 1612C. So, uh, it's an either or, you don't need to demonstrate both exceptions. If you fall into at least one of them, you're good. So uh, that actually can be a big deal uh, because if you, you know, a lot of times people don't have lawyers, they do the prenup themselves. So uh, if that's your situation, you know, that's uh, you know, one risk, I guess, that you run. So hopefully all of that made sense. If you want to read over the remainder of 1612, like 1612A and B, 
Uh, it gives you a good idea of what um, a prenup in California can cover. Doesn't have to cover everything that's listed in uh, 1612 A or B, but you know if you're looking for a list of topics, uh, 1612 A and B will uh, kind of give you a good place to start. So um, hopefully all of that made sense. The basic idea is that if you want to waive alimony in a prenuptial agreement in California, you can. Uh, in my experience, it's actually quite common to want to do that just to make it easier, cheaper, faster if you do get divorced. Uh, but if you do waive alimony, just keep in mind that that waiver can be tossed out for one of two reasons. Number one is if it's unconscionable at the time of enforcement. Number two is if the party against whom the waiver is to be enforced was not represented by legal counsel at the time the waiver was signed. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Go ahead and subscribe, you know, like, comment, share, etc. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks.